Hiya folks, I am back with a triumphant return of my XY uh, Battle Spot Live series. Why am I doing XY Battle Spot Live rather than Aura's Battle Spot Live? Well, that's because Nintendo is a bunch of freaking <laughs> Um, and will not let me use Pokemon bred in previous generations uh, in this for uh, the Aorus League. I, I mean, I understand that you can have all the Pokemon now. Um, okay, yeah. I understand that you can have all the Pokemon that you want. Sorry, every Pokemon is available in Gen 6 now. I understand that. But, I don't want to soft reset a gazillion times for the Therians, or the um, the Genies, and the other Pokemon that cannot be bred. I'm fine with breeding. I, you guys know me, I love breeding. But, um, no, I'm just, I'm not willing, I'm not willing to uh, soft reset for the Pokemon that can't be bred. So I'm back to doing XY. So uh, I have an opponent, which is great. Um, I'm just using the, you know, the three of these Pokemon are just filler. Um, the I'm only going to be using the first three. Um, unless I decide to change what I'm doing. I might actually, uh, mix things up in doing my live, my weekly live battles. Um, I, I'm still going to do Battle Spot no matter what, but I'm kind of considering doing something, something like a Nuzlocke. That sounds like it might be kind of fun. Um, you know, I have, I have a lot of options, but for now it's XY. F XY League. I'm just, I'm pissed, if you can't tell. I'm a little pissed. Um, so, okay, let's take a look at this guy's team. So, Mega, he's got three Pokemon that could go Mega. Of them, Nanetric is the most likely. He might be running dual Mega and just, you know, only bringing one. I, Garchomp, I think, is actually worse as it's Mega because I think it loses a bunch of speed. Oh, sorry, four Pokemon, but he's got Lucario too. So, yeah, he just could have all the Megas in the world. Um, not re So, let's see, I'm leading off with uh, Rotom rather than my Focus Sash Infernape, uh, because, question mark? I don't know. Maybe it wasn't the best choice. I wasn't, you know, I was distracted because I was ranting at you guys! Rawr! Rant, rant, rant! This guy is certainly taking his time. I wonder if he is doing, um, a live narration of his own somewhere, and he's just, like, really going into detail about his decisions. Or maybe he just fell asleep at the wheel, and, um, this is going to be a really weird and short battle where he just goes the default moves each time now. I, I doubt that's the case. Um, a lot of people just like to wait until the last second for whatever reason. So, and yes, he, he chose. He, uh, he didn't let the timer run completely out. Just, you know, mostly out. So, okay. Um, that's fine. So, you know, the, the nice thing about doing Oris League, I'm sorry, XY League, is that you can at least customize the look of your trainer. I hate that your uh, trainer sprite isn't customizable in Oris. Like, you know, I, it was the, one of the coolest features of X and Y. Okay, so Guard of War is out. I am Assault Vest, so I can take anything. Um, ah, Volt Switch out into Aegislash. Um, Aegislash should completely wall this Guard of War unless it runs um, some very strange... Oh, not not going Mega. Interesting. Um, unless it runs some very strange... Item. Oh, and it's synchronized, too, because it didn't get the Levitate. So, um, yeah, so Aegislash should wall this Guard of War completely. Um, and Hypnosis. Crap. Crap. Yeah, okay, that's fine. That's fine. Um, I'm going to go for the Shadow Ball here. Um, oh, it does have the Mega Ring. Okay. Sure. Another Mega Ring. But it is Mega Guard of War. That's, that's fine. Um, yeah, I don't care. So I'm probably going to get the first turn away. Calm Mind. I'm just gonna stay in. Um, you know, I don't. I think I'll wake up before anything completely horrible happens. So, uh, stance change. Yeah, I can probably. I wouldn't be surprised if I could KO with a Shadow Sneak. Actually, okay. So, King Shield to go back into Shield form. Obviously, obviously. Yeah. So there's no sleep clause in this anyway. So I don't really want to be switching out too much. So yeah, just, just stay asleep. It's fine. I. Oh, calm mind again. No, I don't care. I mean, I do care because you're gonna get to crazy high stats by the time I wake up. But should still be okay. Should still be okay. Um, so I'm gonna wake up right here. That's that's my theory. And um, moonblast. Okay. So I can get the special attack 
drop, which would suck. I take that really well. Um, stance change. Wake up, 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 wake up. Ah! Ah! So, that sucks. Freaking hypnosis. It's like 50% accurate. It's like 55% accuracy. Oh, this is lame. Okay. Uh, King Shield again. Um, maybe I'll wake up here. Let's find out. Do I wake up? Do I wake up? Do I wake Yes, I woke up! Yay! That, of course, just gives him another opportunity to hypnosis on me. But... Ooh, okay. Um, this isn't great. Um, do I just want to go to Shadow Snake? I think I want a Shadow Snake. Yeah, Shadow Sneak and then Revenge with Infernape if I die. Okay, go for the Shadow Sneak. I kind of just think he's going to go for Hypnosis anyway. Come on, come on, Shadow Sneak, kill, 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 kill! Kill it! Kill it dead! Kill it dead, yes! Yes, I killed it dead, woo! I should have just gone for that right off the... No, I should not have ever gone. I did the exact right thing here, because if I'd gone for Shadow Sneak then I would have been stuck in blade form when he attacks. So yes, I made the right call in this scenario. I did. Okay, Garchomp is out. Probably just gonna EQ, but just in case, we can King Shield. Either way, it's fine. I mean, I don't think it runs any support moves. But yeah, so King Shield, um, here comes the EQ. I'll just go, I'll just go out into Rotom next turn, and, oh, Rock Slide, okay. Hmm. Rock slide. Does he not run the earthquake for whatever weird reason? Um, I mean I'm slower. I'm gonna try to take the I'm gonna try to take the EQ. Yeah, okay, so he has the EQ, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, I should be able to survive. I do! I survive! Yay! Okay, cool. Cool beans. Uh Shadow Ball. Oh, so he was expecting my switch out in the Rotom. Okay, that was actually pretty smart. Okay. So, um, I'm going to King Shield here just to get a little bit of HP. I don't see him setting up, uh, because I think he would have done it by now if he were going to... Sword Dance? I guess Sword Dance. Um, yeah, if he goes for a Sword Dance here, then I'm going to um, go for the Shadow Snake. Okay, so, yes, I'm going to switch out. I'm going to switch out into Rotom. Um, Rotom is a Salt Vest, so that doesn't really help. Yeah, okay, so, yeah, just go out into Rotom. Um, should be able to take a Rock Slide, um, Dragon Claw, Outrage? I'm not sure, but if he locks himself into Outrage, then I just King Shield, so not worried about that over much. So yeah, Earthquake, uh, that went quite well. And now I'm going to attack with the only move I can. So this is not the same Rotom that used to be on this set, um, uh, on this team. Dragon Rush, ha, <laughs> Dragon Rush. What is, why is he using moves with such crap accuracy? And I say as I use Hydro Pump. That would have been really funny if Hydro Pump had missed after he got a Dragon Rush and the Hypnosis off. So that's now, he's now, he got, now got two Pokemon down. Uh, I'm curious what you guys would think of me doing um, a Nuzlocke. I think it might be kind of fun. So the idea would be, um, so the rules of the game would be this. Um, if a Pokemon dies in a battle, it's dead. Except, except if I manage to go 3-0 and at any point... Uh, I go, I'm almost thinking Discharge. If I go 3-0 in a battle, then I get to revive someone. That, uh, so keep keep things interesting and keep it, you know... Yeah. So that would be the that would be the idea. Dark Pulse. Oh, okay, so it is Protean. That's fine. Um, oh, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. Even if I don't kill, which I'm not going to kill. Uh, oh, I get kill. Oh, wow. Okay, so that's that's fun. So right, so the idea would be, you know, with the if I go three zero, then I get to revive a Pokemon. Then at least it keeps things going. Um, but yeah, so I'm wondering what you guys think of me doing a Nuzlocke. So I'd basically transfer any Pokemon that would be eligible for X Y League back to my Y cartridge, and then I'd use them until they died. Okay, so I three zero there, and I well, that would mean I get to revive someone, as it were. But um, I'm not doing the Nuzlocke yet. So um, yeah, just leave me a comment. And let me know what you think of my crazy Nuzlocke battle spot idea. And uh, I will take your comments into consideration. Uh, I will see you all next week. So long, folks.